Jennifer says, hi there. What is the best way to use Copilot on PDF documents? I tried via office.com, but don't have the option to select the file I want in there. Need an easy way for PDFs. So I, I, there's a couple of different ways to interpret this. So right. I'll, I'll open it to the panel first. Did she put the question to Copilot? <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Yeah, it will read yeah. the main thing is it will read and ingest pdf but it's not going to give you content out of pdf at this point it's probably the biggest thing um not to say that it won't there's the feature updates are coming through hard and fast and it is known to microsoft that it's something that want to because a lot of organizations do have information coming in via pdfs you could go into word and maybe bring it out of a pdf and save it and then it will definitely ingest it from a word document yeah, absolutely. 100% convert it over to a Word document, do what you need to do, then re-PDF it is the best case scenario right now. But I feel things are changing rather quickly because everybody knows everybody uses PDFs hardcore. Yeah, there, oh, yeah. there's a lot There's a lot coming around this. I know that uh, one uh, method, like I was talking to somebody about, I use uh, you know extensively OneNote. And right now, somebody suggested to me, it's like, well, you can convert every page in OneNote to a PDF, store it in a location, add that as a data source uh, to Copilot to go be able to draw from and use. Again, it will ingest it. It can summarize it individually. It can go in and take, you know, look across all of them and pull things in. But again, it's not the, it's not what you're looking as far as a looking for is that, that live Copilot experience. Mm -hmm. um, and so more is being added. There's, uh, you know, they're working on OneNote as well so that it mm -hmm. can come natively. You're not having to go through those multiple steps to get the data, which is I'm so excited for. Um, but PDF, I mean, to your all, all of your points, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's a primary content type uh, for within the enterprise. And so, yeah, Microsoft is working on that. I'm very yeah. conscious of it. I mean, you can't. I mean, there's a lot that's been changed in improvements around PDFs across the suite, without a doubt. So it's good to see sort of more and more slowly working its way through. I've not yeah. seen yeah. if there's an item for PDFs out in the roadmap. Um, one thing I would highly recommend, uh, and this is across the board for anything that you want to see, if there's ever a feature that you want to see that's not there, um, go and do a little research, just spend 20 minutes, look through the roadmap, Microsoft roadmap site. And if there's an item there, you know, vote it up, comment on it. Um, if it's not there, add something in, into the system, provide the feedback to Microsoft. Because uh, as MVPs, we do not have as much power as customers have with their feedback. Oh, when yeah. There are, paying customers, when there are yes. <laughs> licenses, yeah. yeah, paying customers. Thank you. Yeah. Um, when yeah. there's, you know, when there's revenue behind uh, feature requests, and go and pass around, get people in the community, socialize it, and get people to provide feedback yeah. on it. It will move. It's a lot more power. Yeah. yeah. And, and they only... do understand we work with clients and the clients are giving us that information. But of it course. weighs higher when the client itself comes to them yep. as well. Especially um, big ones. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's just the weight factor mm -hmm. of where it's coming from. Are we weighted high in MVP RD area? Yes. But not as I'm a five as that client. <laughs> I'm a five weight. But we but there is I there will. is some. I mean, yeah. if you put in hashtag, you know, the the name of the product and put MVP after yeah. it in the feedback, like in Office, yeah. we yeah. can we can yeah, do it yeah. there. And and, and keep throw in, in how much you weigh on top of that, and maybe that'll be that little <laughs> extra. That's not what I meant. It, but drive the points <laughs> home. Or you know, if you're an RD, you know, you can just bend the ear an awful lot, you know, because Christian, you can harass them way more than we can as MVPs. Yeah. But uh, but I as can. a whole, just keep in mind they're not just continuing to evolve PDFs; they're continuing to evolve the other documents because, like in Copilot and Teams. It's really just the recent documents that you've worked with, which will pop up on the list. You can't go and put a URL. So there's a lot of things that are continuing to change. So you'll see a lot of changes, not only with the normal native Microsoft apps, but with PDFs, et cetera, because I bet they know that this is where we live and work every single day. Uh, I just need to have Copilot for my Sways. That's next. It should be next on the list. You still Christian. using Sways? Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, he still has a Zoom for the love of God. So mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. True. 
Zoom is up here. Sway is down here. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. I, I...